How's it going everyone? Justin again. As always, thanks for watching my channel. Welcome back. I had a couple of subscribers that really wanted me to put the cowboy hat back on, so I figured I'd throw that out there for you. any rate, cheers to those of you that have your beers. I hope you're enjoying your work week. Alright, so today's trip, today's walk around is going to be at Vagabond Welding Supply Store. Lots of really good killer deals, especially if you're a hobbyist. By hobbyist, I mean, hey, look, man, I do all different types of stuff when it comes to hobbyist stuff. I'm an artist at heart. It's what I do. I like wood carving. I like metal working. I like building RC crawlers. I like working on older Jeeps. I like working on dirt track cars, circle track cars. I don't prefer to work on cars for customers in the driveway. I like doing my own thing. It's fun for me. I actually get a lot of enjoyment out of it. But I decided to take a walk around through Vagabond Welding Supply because I have been looking for a better welder. I have been looking to upgrade my current welder. Now, those of you that have been following me for a little while know that I absolutely love my little 110 Flux Core Harbor Freight MIG welder that I got uh, for 100 bucks. And it's served me well for well over four years. But after talking with my dad for a little bit, and I'll put a link down in the description for you guys, he uh, informed me that you can actually achieve better welds and better penetration out of a welder that offers you 220. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that you need to go with the high end or expensive kind. You can go with Lincoln, you could go with Miller, but when you start going down to some of the other ones, they may not offer that. Hobart might, I don't know, I haven't tried Hobart. I'm sure Jay Young can answer that question for us. And then they Vulcan, Vulcan was a new series that's been introduced to Harbor Freight, so maybe they do, I don't know, I'd have to check those out as well. I'm gonna be doing some shopping for sure. But I am actually leaning more on Miller to be honest because my dad has a Miller. He's got the 211 series. That's the series that I was looking at. It does come at a pretty extensive cost, and so I will need to save. Not a big deal, gonna take me a little bit of time, but it, if you want it bad enough, you'll save for it. And then the old term comes to mind, you get what you pay for. I understand what I'm getting when I buy something like a Harbor Freight welder. I understand it's gonna do what I need it to do, it may not penetrate very well, but the welds have held up. Now granted, they're spackly as crap and they don't penetrate very well, but if you lay it on thick, it'll hold. I've done a hammer test and a drop test and it holds. It's not the prettiest thing in the entire world and if you try to clean it up, you kind of lose some of the integrity behind it. Which is why I've decided that I might decide to go with a more higher end welder. So we'll see what happens here in the future. That being said, Let's go for a walk around and take a look and see what you can purchase at a uh, welding supply store versus going to a, a big hat store like Home Depot or Lowe's. All right, so this is Vagabond Welding Supply Store, home to Yucca Valleyans everywhere in California. We love it because they offer a great deal of variety when it comes to welding equipment. You can get welders, you can get tanks, you can get steel, you can get little tiny tidbits. We're gonna take a look and see what they got. All right, so if you wanna get into a project, you're not sure what you wanna make, they got all these different pre-cut little pieces of steel here that are already pre-done. So if you wanted to run a bolt through, maybe you're trying to fix a shackle on a leaf spring, maybe you want to create a door hinge, maybe you want to make something to hold something or create some kind of cabinet to swing open, they have it. They have all different types and styles of pre-made, pre-drilled, pre-cut designs that will aid you and your hobbyist creativeness. So whatever kind of ideas that you have, They've got a lot of different items here for you to choose from to be creative and create something awesome. Roberto Blake taught me that. Create something awesome. All right. They got these welding pliers. They got magnets. They've got uh, metal clamps. They've got a. Um, they got the spud wrench. I think that's probably the better spud wrench of all the spud wrenches I've seen. Also adjustable. Hammers. They've got clamps. Uh, they've got measuring devices, they got levels, they have Irwin products as well. 
Here's some hinges. So if you're looking to make a cabinet or a door, you might consider coming down here and picking them up for a buck or two a piece. Other little adapters with some weird angles, 90 degree angle and plus a drilled hole. If you're uh, trying to corral a horse or put a hinge on, they got wheels made out of hard rubber. So if you're trying to make a little cart like I want to make, I want to make a welding cart so I came here specifically to get an idea of what I could do with whatever I saw to build the best welding cart that I could at home. And they also offer a whole bunch of different other little tidbits. They got plastic caps, so if you wanted to like protect the end and not cut yourself or fill in the hole, you could. Avoid those scorpions and spiders. They had these fence things that you could put on for ed extra added decoration. Smaller plastic end caps. Oxine acetylene torch sets. They had other welding sets here. They had cutoff wheels for a fraction of the price. And they had welding rods for days. I mean, so if you like to braze and brazing is your thing, they had a lot of brazing rods. They had arc rods. They had all different types of rods here in different lengths. They had replaceable headbands for the inside of your welding hoods. They had welding hoods. A little bit on the pricier side for what it is that you get, but that's okay. Maybe they're better quality. I don't know. I didn't look at the name brand close enough to be honest. I already have two welding hoods. They also have some goggles. They had some clear eye protection for grinding and sanding and things like that. Ear protection, they had these BSX welding jackets. I have one, it's this blue one with the flames, I love it. Some people don't like BSX. Here's another one, they had some black stallion gear here. Heavier duty leather, look pretty nice. I love that blue and black, I might pick that up later. Someone said maybe black stallion might be a better way to go. I haven't had any problems with my BSX, they had gloves, they had the little beanies that go underneath your welding hood. They had uh, chop saw blades or bench top, tabletop saw blades to cut stuff flush. And they had some sanding discs, cutoff wheels. They had uh, wire wheels, just all different types. I didn't see Diablo up here, but they had other brands. They had wire brushes and all different types of sizes. If you wanted to get into smaller areas, you could. Pennies on the dollar, more wire wheels to choose from. Small totes for grab and go if you're a grab and go welder guy. Thought that was kind of cool. 210 to 110, 210, 210, 110, 110, heavy duty extension cords. They had gauges for regulating uh, gas pressure or air pressure. And they had various tips in different sizes. So something that impressed me was the style of tips they had. I don't know if the style of tips helps with welding, but I was looking at it and I was like, Maybe I might try that. Maybe changing the tip might actually aid me. They also had a, uh, another bench taps evolution saw here. Haven't heard of it before, thought it looked kind of cool. I was looking at the welder. So here we go. This is a 141. It's the 110 welder that you can do flux core welder with, but they also offer an air gas setup. All you gotta do is switch the leads from one continuity to another. They show you how to do it and set it up. Not a bad little welder, I think it came in around 850 bucks, but you do have the option of adding air gas to it. So that's pretty cool. Here's one my dad has, the 211. This is the one that I like. This is a 220 and you can also reduce it down to 110 if you so choose. Looking inside of it, same kind of concept, everything pre-set up. Here's your little adapter, switch back and forth. And they give you the instructions on how to set speeds. They also had an auto set feature, which I thought was pretty cool. You just set it to the gauge wire, it's already preset. You wanna run flux core aluminum, you wanna run regular wire, you wanna run air gas, they have the presets for that as well. Really makes it ingenious, 1300 bucks. A little bit on the pricier side, but like I said, you get what you pay for. So I can either go this route for 850, or I can go the other route for 1300. Now I went to Home Depot just to price quote some steel and show you guys that it is a lot more expensive to buy it from these big hat stores like Home Depot. And I have had to buy steel from them in the past to get various projects done because I just didn't have the time to make it to them before they closed. So if they close at 5 o'clock and Home Depot's open until 9 or 10 o'clock, I can usually come down here and grab a couple of pieces that I need to finish a project that I'm currently working on or to satisfy whatever hobbyist need, or maybe I'm just trying to fix my trailer. I can come down here in a pinch and pick something up. It's gonna cost me, but they make it uh, aluminum at eight foot and steel in six foot. 
it's available. You're going to buy more of it. You're going to spend more money. It's better to go to an actual wholesaler than it is to go to a big hat store like we've talked about. But they also said all thread. Here's their welders. So a little bit expensive. This is Lincoln now. So we're talking like 550 to 760 for the welder, depending on what you want to go to. Not sure if this one has a 220 capability. They had this huge ladder in my way, so I couldn't move it around. They also offer the pliers, the underhood beanies. They offer the magnets, wire brushes, a various amount of welding supplies. Now, I have asked my dad about the wire. He said, you know what? There is a difference when it comes to welding wire. Cheap wire isn't necessarily good. You want to get a good brand of welding wire. He uses Lincoln. I forgot what kind, but that's the kind he likes. I looked at their gloves. Their gloves looked like they were a lot better and more durable than the ones that I saw from Harbor Freight, which I already did a review on. I didn't care for these higher end ones because it still had this weird leather to it. I don't know. I don't like it. Looking at the welders, trying to get a better idea of price, here was one that was pretty comparable to the Harbor Freight one I have for a fraction more. I wasn't too digging it. They also had a cheaper brand named Century that was also available that's a little bit more than Harbor Freight as well. They do have some paint markers, so if you're looking to uh, do projects, you're going to want some permanent markers. These are Milwaukee, and for $1.50 to $2.50 a piece, they're pretty good. All right, guys, so that'll pretty much wrap up today's video as far as Vanguard welding supply. Look, I thought they had a lot of interesting things available as far as being able to create something awesome. Thank you, Roberto Blake. You demand. Uh, but outside of that, just projects in general, they had everything. And... Miller, if you want to buy a Miller welder, you're you're more than likely going to have to go to a welding supply store. I have not found one chain store at all that I've ever been to this entire week that offers Miller except a welding store and a local welding store. So I'm glad our local welding store actually sells Miller. My boss actually has the 211 as well, and he loves it, and we use it at our auto shop. You're going to use a welder, man, especially in automotive not just as a hobbyist, but as a mechanic as well, you're going to need it. When people break down, they need something fixed on a pinch, and you can weld, you're the fucking man. I made money on and off for years with that Harbor Freight welder just doing exhaust work. It wasn't pretty, but it, was, it worked, and it filled it in. So that's all I got for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. We'll see you guys next time. yippee ki -yay. Deuces.